the yesterday's topic, which, of, which was about mass, weight, and density. Uh, mainly, we'll solve the structured questions because the MCQ, the multiple choice question, is for your to check your understanding. And then later, I will share this as a weekly homework with you. Uh, the question is. A figure 3.1 shows an oil tank that has a rectangular base. The base is given of 2.4 meter by 1.5. So 2.4 meter by 1.5. And the depth of the oil is 1.5. The tank is filled with an oil. So tank is filled with an oil which is having a density of 850 kilogram per meter cube. Calculate the mass of oil. So how you can find the mass? So if you remember the triangle for density, the so density is mass over volume. This is a triangle for density. If I need the mass, so mass we are finding, it will be density multiplied by volume. Density is given, which is 850. But what about the volume? How I'll get the volume of this? Mass over density. Yeah, but uh, from the figure, how I can find the volume? I have because, one, because one, yes. One point five by one point five by two point four. Yeah, good. So basically, we'll multiply the dimension. It's a rectangular a box or a cube, so it will be length into width into height. So how first you will find the volume? How you'll find the volume? It will be two point five, two point four multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by 1.5 so after multiplying these all three dimensions what you will get you will get the volume and to know the mass mass is density multiplied by volume so you will get the final answer can you calculate and tell the final answer what is the final answer uh, volume equals 5.4 volume equals 5.4 meter cube It's going to be 5.4 multiplied by 850 equals yeah. 4,590. 4,590 or 90? 90. 90. Okay. 4,590 kg or kilogram. Is it clear to everyone? The next part, when he's checking the level of the oil tank, a man drops a brass key into an oil and it sinks to the bottom. State what this shows about density of a brass. What it shows, like what he did, he took a brass key, a key which is made up of brass. The density of the brush is uh, higher than the density of the water. Yeah. So if you take a key and he drops this key into a container which is filled with oil and he observes it sink. So if it sink, what it shows, it gives an idea that density of a brass is more than density of the oil which we use. Explain how attaching the key to a piece of wood could prevent the key from sinking. How? By, for example, if I attach a wood with a key, the, it will not sink. How it will protect or how it will avoid or prevent it from sinking? Yeah, what? Like example, we take a piece of wood and we attach with a key and we observe it is not sinking. And it is preventing it to sink. What is the reason? Why it's not sinking now? It's going to increase the volume and when the volume increases, density decreases. Yeah. So basically you will mention attaching a piece of wood will decrease the density so that the density of uh, the combined density of wood and brass is less than the oil. So it will float or it will not sink. Because when we mix two objects together, then you will have a combined density. What is meant by the term weight? How you define weight of an object?
mass multiply gravity yeah mass multiply by gravity is a formula but how you define it what's the definition of a weight uh, it's the gravitational force experienced by the object the gravitational force the object experience that is called weight of an object the mass of equipment the mass of equipment is 350 and the acceleration of a free fall uh, later you will learn that the value of the gravity and there's another thing which is called acceleration of a free fall they always have a same value for like example if the gravity of the earth is 10 newton per kilogram so the acceleration acceleration you will learn this topic in the next chapter acceleration means the change in velocity so acceleration of a free fall or acceleration or change in velocity is also 10 meter per second square. So basically the concept is that the value of the gravity and the value of acceleration due to the gravity is always same. So if they give you acceleration due to gravity or if they give you the value of a gravity, it is having a same meaning. So the mass of an equipment is 350 kilograms and acceleration of free fall on surface of this planet is 7.5. Calculate the weight. So how you will calculate the weight as we know? Weight of an object is equals to mass multiplied by gravity. So mass is 350 which is given. But what I will take gravity? Gravity I will take as same as the acceleration of the planet. So acceleration of a free fall is always same as the gravity. Why it is same that you will learn in the next chapter. That's why I'm not going in detail now. So this will be 350 multiplied by 7.5 you will get the weight. It should be in Newtons. Now this is a question. The equipment releases a balloon from a point that is a small distance above the surface. So example you are on this planet and you release a balloon The atmosphere at the surface of the planet having a density of 0 0.35 kilogram. That's a density of the atmosphere or density of the uh, particle which are around. So which is equals to 0 0.35 kilogram per meter cube. The inflated balloon has a mass of 80 gram and the volume of 0 0.3 meter cube. Make an appropriate calculation and then predict and explain the direction of any motion of a balloon. Means whether a balloon will rise or whether the balloon will fall or sink. So what, how you can identify? You have to compare the density of the atmosphere with the density of the balloon. But both should be in the same unit. Because the density is kilogram per meter cube for atmosphere, so density of balloon should also be in kilogram per meter cube. We already have the volume in meter cube, but we don't have mass in kilogram, mass is in gram. So first, we'll find the density of the balloon. Which is equals to Mass is 80 gram. I will convert into kilogram 80 divided by 1000. So this will be equal to 0 0.08. Divided by volume of the balloon is given 0 0.3. What's the answer? 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.3. Um, it's 0 0.267. 267 kilogram per meter cube. So this is a density of a balloon. And this is the density of atmosphere. So if I release this balloon, which direction it will move? It will rise or it will sink. What will happen? The density of a balloon. Yeah, so it will move upward or it will rise. And why this balloon will rise? Because the density of the balloon is less than the density of the 
the density of a balloon is less than the density of at atmosphere that is why it will rise next question i want everyone to solve and send answer on the board question 3 a and b solve and send your answers on the board don't uh, no need to copy the question you can just solve you don't have to copy and write the whole question just solve and send answer so first you mass divided by volume so mass is 180 and the volume was 210 when you divide you was getting 0.857 and that you compare gram per centimeter keep that one thing in mind like when you are comparing the two densities the unit of two densities should be same like if uh, density of a fluid is given in gram per centimeter cube density of object should also be in gram per centimeter cube and same way density of object is uh, fluid is kilogram per meter cube density of object should also be kilogram per meter cube so if you release this object in a container which is filled with a liquid which having a density of 0.88 so that will float because the density of object is less than the density of the fluid uh in paper 6 questions normally it's it's a simple measurement and sometime when you check your answer with the marking scheme you will find that it's different reason for having a different answer for paper 6 compared to the marking scheme is a paper size because or the figure size when you take out the print your print size is a4 paper but actually the exam paper is a5 or a3 so it changes so that's why your measurement size may not be equal to the actual size so i will just going through quickly use a ruler to measure in centimeter the external diameter so we have to measure a diameter so what you will do you will place your ruler or a scale and you will measure this length same way use a ruler to measure in centimeter the length x so when i want to measure this length x how i, I will place a ruler a scale and then place next to this and measure the length x and then substitute the well and in paper 6 you don't have to memorize a formula any formula reason for that because uh paper 6 the the formulas will be given so you don't have to memorize any formula for paper 6 now draw a label diagram to show how you would use the rectangular block of wood and a ruler to measure length x so how i can measure this length x by using a two rectangular blocks any idea how we can use a rectangular block to measure this length x so basically what we will do we'll take and yeah we will place this test tube between the two rectangular block like example this one is block 1 and this one is block 2 and we will place the test tube we will place the test tube between the two rectangular blocks and place a ruler a scale place a ruler or scale and measure this distance from point a to point b when you so this is a test tube and two rectangular blocks are there you place between them and you can measure the because the question was how you can measure length x but same thing if the question was how you can measure a diameter 
So if you want to measure a diameter, then the two rectangular blocks, the two rectangular blocks, and you will place an object between them, the test tube. The block should touch the test tube so that it will be accurate. And then place a ruler. And know the diameter. But in the question, because they ask how you'll find for X, that is how you'll find for X. Again, you can see here the formula is given. You don't have to learn or memorize any formula for paper six. And how you'll know what is pi? Pi is always 3.14. What about D? You can see here that the value of a D when you measure this was this is D, the diameter. Same way, what is X? You already measured this height using a ruler that is equals to X. And divided by four, so you will get the external volume of the test tube. Uh, so remaining, I will. I want you to answer in the homework so that we can discuss next week. So this, these are some questions related to topic mass weight and density so i will share this file with you as a weekly homework and i'll start a new topic for today